Well, it's been a long time in the making, but here we have the new snapper range of cult rods from Corum. Um, we've gone whole hog across the board. We've done dead bait rods for boat fishing and bank fishing. I've just been casting our new three pound quarter uh, test 12 foot pike rods. They're capable of handling the biggest of baits, but they've still got the finesse to play, play out a good fish and still have the enjoyment of the fight. We've also got our boat rods for pike fishing. Good for Xander fishing as well. I've been using them down the seven. Both the sets of rods, we've have been, you know, quite a while in the making. We've done lots of tests with them, gone through lots of samples, picked up, picked up lots of different uh, things we like, things we don't like, and we've come up with a very, very affordable, good rod. Um, the pike rods for bait fishing all feature these slim guides, heavy duty guides, so you won't get any frap ups as well. They've got a one foot marker for right from the reel, so you can pay off your line and work out how deep you're fishing when you're boat fishing. Um, you can, it's dead easy to change the depth once you move pitches. We've got a line clip on all of them. So you can open your bail arm when you sat next to your rods, clip it in, keep an eye on it. Then the pike just pulls it out of the clip rather than pulling on a bait runner or anything else. I think these are gonna to appeal to a lot of people right across the board from beginners to the hardened old school pike anglers. We've really given them some hammer over the last 12 months and they're still, you know, shiny and new. So, and they, you know, I've caught myself, you know, I've had pike over 30 pound on these rods. You won't be disappointed. The boat rod is a three and a quarter pound and that's a 10 foot rod. And like I say, the bank rod is a 12 foot rod and that's also three and a quarter pound. The boat rod's um, rung in such a way that it's a bit, it, you know, you've got a more through action for when you're playing big fish underneath the rod tip in the boat. Um, whereas the bank rod is an out and out casting tool, so you can punch a good bait at fair distance. But as that said, it's still suitable to put a float on and flick it down the edge. So yeah, good all round rods really. Right, now I'll move on to the snapper cult range of lure rods that we're doing. The lightest one we've bought out this October is this jig rod. It's a seven foot, 10 to 30 gram rod. Now it's really good for casting and jigging. Um, I've caught lots of decent perch and I use it all the time now for Xander fishing. It's got a really, really fast action. It's decent carbon and it's well rung as well. I've even been fishing vertically with this such as the action on it and teamed up with the speed reel our new speed reel it is you know it's leagues ahead of the old one we really are progressing well the next rod i'll go on to again from the cult range is this lure rod it's seven foot 100 gram good for chucking medium sized lures this is a quantum Yolo Shad. It's, you know, handles lures bigger than this quite easily, but it's still got the finesse to use a smaller um, lure if need be. Again, rung so you shouldn't have very, very many frap ups and line knots and twists and stuff. Real nice rod that is. And now this is the, um, the heavier one that we do. It's 120 gram cult snapper rod, good for chucking larger lures. They all come with this cork handle, which is really nice in the car on a cold winter's day, you know, it's, it's, not, it's nice to uh, grip hold off. Um, I've got a multiplier on this, but you can use a fixed ball reel, no problem. And like I say, chucking the larger lures, it's, um, and I've even, I've even trolled with this from a boat, and it's been a good rod. So yeah, 
a real good all-round range there that should cover most scenarios. Mm -hmm.